What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today we got one that's near and dear to my heart. The FCX 18 K10 Chevy truck. I have been waiting for this thing for longer than you can imagine. I love square bodies. The K5 uh, FCX 24 was one of my favorite trucks. It actually was one that kind of helped launch my channel. And uh, I, I still love that truck. There it is right there. Anyways, we are going to put this on the workbench. We're going to take a gander at it, look at it in all of its glory, kind of go over some of the parts, and then we're going to run it on my indoor course that's still kind of under construction. Um, maybe you guys can help me with that. We'll get into more of that when I start running. I will stop blabbing. Let's get into it. Here it is, folks, what I've been waiting for. The FMS 118 Chevy K10, the FCX 18. Oh, this packaging is amazing, like usual. And of course, I got red. Let you guys take a look at this box. Look at that. Mean Chevy machine. Of course, we got this nice packaging from FMS as per usual. And then just in case you guys are wondering, I ordered this guy from Fair RC. Let's pop this top. Oh man. Wow, this thing is huge. Literally a die cast. 118. We got our dip switches. The old thought it was going to be the standard remote, but it's actually the one that comes with the dip switches, which makes me happy. A lot more options there. And now let's pull this bad boy out. Oh man, that thing is huge. What else we got in here? Looks like we got a little bit of a different charger than we usually get with these guys. Some license plates, a wheel wrench, uh, some basics. Oh, we passed the inspection. All right. As a little side note, would have been cool to get some Chevy decals or something with this, but that's all right. Look at that truck. All right. Love this part. Yes. Yeah, this belongs in my garage, no doubt about it. You can pop the hood. And there's your battery in there, your ESC receiver combo. So everything's kind of a easy access in there. Um, one of my biggest things about these FCX 18s is I'm a huge fan of the Blazer uh, and how you can actually pull the body off on the FCX 24s uh, with just the clip system. This one you actually have screws and things to take this body off. So it's a little more intricate. Um, more of a small gripe than a huge deal. Uh, everything in here is pretty easy to get to. So, I mean, it's not a huge problem. Be careful when you shut that hood. You don't bend it. Also has a working tailgate. Which you kind of have to pull up on, pull out. You got your latch system here. pretty neat um, you know for the scale guys this kind of hurts a little bit but there's a lot of options here you could get a bed cover or anything to get, cover that up not a huge huge deal these big oversized tires and wheels on this thing pretty neat they kind of look really really big but I think it's just the rim is really huge 
uh, but they're almost they're just a little bit bigger than these Betrazzi wheels and tires which may end up on this truck before we know it now we take a look at underneath look how big that drive shaft is that's huge See, there's a little bit of slop there and it flexes quite a bit so I'm hoping that don't become an issue but we'll see front one ain't too bad we got our metal links um, three link in the front four link in the back gonna have to swap that out at some point but that's kind of normal for the FCX's. I thought these shocks were the same shocks that were running on the FCX 24's, but they're actually a little more big bore, and they feel like they have oil in them. I'm pretty sure they do. Uh, this thing actually has all right suspension. Um, well, I don't have a. FCX with FCX 24 with stock suspension anymore to show you how bouncy those things were but anybody who has one knows so yeah just wanted to give you guys an overview of this beautiful truck and uh, now I think we're gonna take it wheeling all right here we are on the indoor course I got going on it's kind of a work in progress situation as you can see, I have not painted the mountains yet. We've been kind of running on it and having some fun. Uh, so I got to get all that dirt off there and I got to paint it. I was kind of hoping you guys would help me with that. Let me know, uh, do you think I should go like mountainy, dark gray, kind of like smoky mountains, or should I go like Utah and go like sandstone, something like that. That's the one I'm kind of going towards, to be honest with you, because Utah is completely awesome. But, uh, I figured I'd get your guys' opinion down below. Let me know. I have Shorty from Shorty's Hobby World on my phone here. We're on Discord together. So he's going to join us while we run this guy. And I talk about this battery right here. So you want to say what's up, Shorty? What's going on, guys? Glad to have you all here. All right. We're glad to have you. All right, let's get into this battery real quick. As you can see here, it's a 900 milliamp, 7.4 volt. This thing is a lot chunkier than what came with the FCX 24s, uh, which is going to be nice because this truck is considerably bigger. If you look under the hood here where the battery goes, you can see it's got a nice strap system. It even has a little tab that you can pull on there. And your ESC is tucked in there real nice, and you got your on-off switch right there. So we're going to go ahead, we're going to load this battery up, and let's start running this thing. There it is. Let's see what she can do with these buff good richer tires. I'm digging it. I still got to get used to the one-handed driving still. I want to turn left and I want to turn right and go the opposite direction. Oh man, did that with ease. The long wheelbase I feel like is going to be great, but then you got problems like this where your rear likes to get caught up on things, which happens quite a bit with the K5 as well. The scale aspect's always fun, but kind of hurts the performance a little bit. Yes, yes it does. I would hope so. Oh yeah. Make sure you guys chime down below and uh give uh Paul Humble here some feedback on the whole mountain thing. Yes, I would great job, huh? Would definitely like to know and uh depending on what happens we will get a backdrop so you won't see all this nasty wall back here. It'll actually look really nice, like Shorty's Mountain. If you guys haven't seen that, go to his channel and check it out. I don't know who built that mountain, but they did one hell of a job. Yeah. 
Yeah, Arizona, Utah area. Give us more uh, more options, and options are always good. I will say, so far, this thing is a mammoth. It's considerably bigger than an axial for sure. Uh, the K5, it, it's it's a bit bigger than that as well. But so far, so good on this this course. Um, would it do good on other courses? Maybe, maybe not. It is kind of a big guy. I'm going to be more of a trail truck. Oh, yeah, I think we're hung up here. Yeah, that that back bumper, man. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know why they thought semi truck wheels would be good on uh, an older style truck like this. I know. A lot of the slam trucks go with the big fat wheels. Uh, I prefer more tire than wheel, that's just me. I will say one thing I've noticed right off the bat, I am definitely gonna have to get a servo for this. Not very impressed by that so far. I think it's having a hard time with these big old meats. Yeah, yeah. I think this is rocking the same one. I could be wrong. This might be a little bit bigger. So don't quote me on that one. But um, I can just tell right away, though, because I'm going to want some weighted tires. And this is going to be kind of rough. Oh, no. Back over the FMS sign. Are we rolling over? Can we save it? Oh, oh, oh. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's save it. Yeah. All right. Now it's a truck, we got it nice and dirty. Let's see if we can get this big old beast in here. Ooh, got her hung up in there. She ain't brand new anymore, that's for sure. Oh, there we go again. Hung up on that back bumper. But, you know, I don't know, a normal trail truck probably wouldn't be going on that kind of extreme stuff. But, you know, we just got to get some scratches in there, break it in correctly. Try this spot again. Absolutely. I got plans. Matter of fact, the red and white are going to go. We're going to put our own little twist on uh, paint and go from there. All right, I'm going to try. I'm going to move this guy here. I'm going to do the little uphill battle here. Try to get some good angles here. Ooh. Getting dangerous. You made it. Oh, yeah. Let's see these back tires are going to fall and roll. Maybe. Yeah. Oh, a little gas. A little luck. The servo was working hard on that one. Oh, we pulled it off. Oh, oh, oh. Dang, made that whole thing. Nice. A little impressed by that. The servo must have heard me talking some crap. scratches in there oh, yeah. there we go oh <laughs> spoke too soon yeah come on come on come on hand of god uh oh he's still making me work for it though <laughs> 
Oh. Yeah, reset. Oh no, the camera. Oh god. Uh, that's the joys of GoPros. They can take a beating. And of course, the old long wheel base got it nice and high centered. Exactly. Alright, let's put it. That is a good question. All right, I'm gonna put her in second gear, see if we can do a burnout. Whoa, whoa! <laughs> Plenty of wheel speed in second gear, man. Oh, yeah. Nice. Woo, no doubt. Oh. <laughs> All right. Fun, fun. Okay, that's much better. Yeah, instant reverse, dip switch one, put it up. Perfect. That'd help out. Yes. All right, I'm going back to first gear. It's a little more uh, proper for what we're doing here. Not really sticking with the lines, we're just kind of cruising all over the course this time. Not like that spot, but I think if we had proper weight, maybe a more aggressive tire. Oh, oh, wait a minute. Wait, wait. Prove me wrong. Prove me wrong. Fight it. All right, I put the camera down. I got both hands. We're going to try it. Come on, work for it. Oh, reset, reset. Oh, oh. <laughs> Try again. Oh, that's not good. Yeah, I got that tire wrapped right up in that bumper there. Draw uh, tire. Got that, uh... <laughs> We're just gonna edit that part out. Anyways... This thing really is like a rock. It just smacks everything out of its way. Let's try this line here. Oh, come on. Oh. That is the key, though, to coming from that angle. Ooh. There it is. She conquered it. <laughs> Woo. Like a rock. <laughs> all right guys that's the fcx 18 man i am digging the hell out of this truck um like i said i think a new servo would do this thing wonders maybe even just some smaller tires would probably help a uh, longer wheelbase is good for some things not so good for others i have some plans for this truck so if you guys want to stick around i got a couple parts all ready for it but that is just a minute fraction of what is going to get done to this truck it will no longer be red and white so stay tuned for that i will do a part two and we'll go ahead and run that part two after i'm done with it on this course and see what it does again um, i want to thank shorty from shorty's hobby world for being our little guest voice today and uh helping me with the commentary and whatnot so if you guys get a chance, check out his channel. I will have a link in the description down below for that as well. So, alrighty. We will see you next time. Thanks for, thanks for tuning in. Later. Later.